I don't even want to cast this card. <laughs> I'm like pretty, no, no pretty, you have pretty, to. pretty confused. No, I'm gonna cast it. I, I, don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. Because it works differently on Magic Online. <laughs> than it does. <laughs> the You're bastion for competitive play. In the real world. Yeah. Are you telling me Magic Online is not a direct one-to-one -to, -one to pay for Magic? You surprised. And I'm, uh, yeah. All right, I'm just, I don't know what happens. All right. I'm gonna play. What's up? It's shuffle up and play, that's what's up. And today, pro players play commander. I have brought here three esteemed and established pro players, and uh, you're not all real big commander players though, are you? How could you say that? Well, you said that. You said you've never, you've played commander how many times, you told me? One time. You've played Commander one time. One time. So I want to show you how cool Commander is. Commander is the most fun way to play Magic the Gathering, and I want to share that fun with all of you. How does that sound? I mean, I've heard good things. You've played Commander how I many have, times? I uh, have 12, 15 times. I'm going to soft pedal my resume. I have a little bit of a Commander background. Okay. Do you have your own commander deck? No, absolutely not. Okay. Well, I. <laughs> that's okay because I made commander decks for all of you. Jim, you play commander though, right? I have played a little bit for content. Yes. yes. I've been dragged wow. in. I, I do have a Moxus deck. So you don't fun. play it for fun. You play it for content. Mostly. I'm also about the 15 game range. I I did enjoy when I was in single digits. I know. I was like, I've only played single digit commander games, but that can't last forever. Uh, but yeah, about in that range also. Well, I want to show you how cool and awesome Commander is as a format, and so I dug through all of your timelines. I went through social media for the receipts, and based upon what I saw, I have built each of you a Commander deck that I think you're gonna love and enjoy. All right, uh, I am Cedric Phillips. I am a, boy, I'm a content creator. Uh, I'm one half of the Resleavables and the Unsleeved podcast, and uh, I am the owner of Coalesce Apparel and Design as well, so I do some things to Magic me. I also talk about the game a bunch in various ways. There you go. Wow, they don't say content creator like it's a bad word. I did! You did, you were like, I'm a uh, content creator. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Making content right now. So if I really like that hoodie that you're wearing and I wanted one for myself, uh, where would I go? Great question, Prof. You, which camera? Can I, can I pick either shill? one? You may shill to any camera you like, okay. sir. I would go to coalesceapparel.shop or I would go to coalesceapparel.shop. You know where you could go? Coalesceapparel.shop? There you go. Not a sponsor. Not You didn't pay me any money for that, right? I don't think so. Absolutely not. I hope not. Not a sponsor, <laughs> just a really cool person. If I liked Jim's shirt, would I go to the same place? You would go to Coalesce Apparel. Wow. Dot shop. Wow. And Patrick, oh no, you're not. <laughs> wow. Way to support your partner there. I know, it's oh, tough. God. Okay. We, we make it work. He's a big Rutgers guy. So Cedric, yes. you made a tweet once that one of the most fun decks you ever played was a blue-green madness deck. Way back when. Way back when. Way back when. Wild Mongrel, Arrogant Worm, Baskin Root Law, oh. Circular Logic, those were the days. So we took that and me and my crack team came up with this commander deck for you. It's a mono blue madness deck okay. that I think captures the spirit of what you loved. You're gonna love it here today. Tell us who your commander is. My commander is Urza Power Stone Prodigy, a three mana one three human artificer that uh, makes some power stones and lets me draw and discard, uh, lets me do some looting for madness. I think you're gonna love commander so much you're gonna build your own deck after today. You might even wanna take this one home, but you can't because there are cards. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I appreciate either way. I'm Patrick Sullivan. I'm the other half of the Resleavables uh, Patreon podcasting network, game designer by trade, and longtime magic player, commentator, writer, etc. Not a content creator. You didn't say content creator. It's too soulless of a term. He's not, and, he's not wrong. <laughs> I'm an I'm an artist of various mediums. It's I'm not an content. artist. It's not content, it's art. All right. Don't debase my craft. All right. Well, seeing as you love art, I also found on your timeline a tweet where you said you're not a commander player, but if you were a commander player, you would play Ken from Street Fighter, the magic card. And that is what we built you only. We went one step further. We built you Ken as an actual magic card. This is the universes within version of Ken. 
So I mentioned before, I kind of soft pedaled my resume a little bit. I do have a commander group. Uh, due to work, I have to go out to England every couple months or so. And some of the people that I work with, I want to give a shout out to my commander crew. I love this. They're a big fan of the show. Woody, Arthur, Robbie, and Joe. Thank you for oh, showing at, me around the room. Look at this shout out. Wow. But what I really appreciate about Commander is someone's collection of decks is a window into their soul. You can tell a lot about someone by the three or four decks that they play the most. You have no Commander decks. Does that mean you have no soul? <laughs> I don't, but those are two separate things. Okay. Yeah. This is a 4-2 legendary creature for two red and one colorless with prowess, which whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. You can play either red or white. I don't know. Is that Boros hybrid? How do you describe that? You're the... You are, are the coverage, guys. How would you describe only it one, if someone played a card with that symbol on coverage? So I, only one of us designs games here. How? All right. So how? Or, wait, wait. How long has it been since you were on camera to do this sort of thing? You've forgotten. I have gotten a little bit of ring rust. Wow. Been some years, but all right. So for hybrid Try Boros, and keep it PG. Uh, ring rust sounds a little dirty there. For hybrid Boros, Aisha of Sparks and Smokes <laughs> gains first strike <laughs> until end of turn, and whenever Aisha deals combat damage, you may cast a sorcery spell from your hand with mana value less than or equal to that damage without paying its mana cost. I actually didn't know that this was even a card until I saw it today. I just thought this was Ken. So, yeah. Learning things as I go. All right. Well, that's, that's what we're all about here at the Community College is learning about magic. I'm glad I can educate you guys. Uh, my name is Jim Davis. I'm a full-time content creator. Pro player now, too. Again, I've been on the Pro Tour again oh, almost by accident. That's right. Yeah. I know, right? And, and you're going to be on the Pro Tour in the next uh, uh, at uh, Chicago, right? I'm queued for the next two. Yeah, kind of by accident. Wow. I thought I was kind of washed up and, and retired. No, that's all. So you're Here actively on the Pro Tour. We got you here playing Commander. And so just for the record, uh, how many times did you actually play on the Pro Tour, Cedric? Uh, over 20, Prof. I've actually lost count. It's been so many times. And Jim, how many times were you on the Pro Tour? Probably in the 20 range also. A lot back in the day and then a lot recently now, too. And Patrick, I believe you've been on the Pro Tour once or 10 times? The exact number is lost in the sands of times, but my best guess is 17. Cool. I won Game Day Dark Ascension with Mono Red Burn. In terms of your deck, Jim, I just threw some Tesseract with goblins. I, that makes me happy. And dogs. I added yeah. dogs. Yeah, this other guy I got in here, too. So we got a Vile Smash with the Fierce, my goblin buddy here. It's a vintage cube card, right? It's a vintage cube for I a I think it's bit. in there. Yeah, it's been in there. It's been in there before. Yeah, so we got two, three for three. Uh, and if you cast your first spell each turn, it deals damage. You can have spells at mana value to an opponent chosen at random. Kind of fun, too, because, like, you can dole it out, but you can't. Oh, it was random. It wasn't me. I didn't I didn't mean to hit you. It just, you know, it just happened. It just happened yeah. that way. You know, just, you know, lady luck. And then we also have uh, Yoshimaru. Well done. I got it. That's correct. I get That's correct. Yeah. Yoshimaru Ever Faithful. One mana for a legendary dog. Ever a legendary permanent enters battlefield under your control. Put a plus one counter on this. And it's a 1-1. One, one, uh, shout out to Isamaru. I'm sure it's kind of the homage here. And uh, I guess this is for Karn. My dog at home. I guess it's the uh, the ideas with goblins and Karn. And uh, it's kind of an odd pairing, but let's do it. Let's do it. And of course, I have done nothing but play Baldur's Gate 3 uh, all uh, fall long. And so I just wanted to continue playing Baldur's Gate 3. That's why I'm playing Minsk and Boo. Uh, that one? That's, that's in the vintage cube. That's in the vintage cube. That's, that's in the vintage cube a yeah. lot, yeah. yeah. Minsk and Boo are in vintage cube. Yes. Is because we are making strong, powerful punches? No. Your commander is better than all of ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, so you know. You, are, are you accusing me of building the better commander deck for myself just I so I could beat three incredibly distinguished pro players who have all played on the pro tour? I wasn't going to say it, I'm just stating a fact. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say Stating it. a fact. I'm glad someone did. Yep. It, well, it's suspicious, let's say. <laughs> yeah in relation to the power level of our four over here. One of those cards is unpassable in Vintage Cube, and um, <laughs> quick check, wouldn't make it, wouldn't make it. My half of it, my uh, half of it might make it. Vintage Cube is not what Commander is about. I'm, that's right, that's why Commander, I'm Commander, I wanna tell you the most important rule before we get started about Commander. The point of Commander is not to win. The point of Commander is to have fun. Okay, what? Yeah. got it, I don't know what that means. So, Huh? Generally, when I play, I, I, I want my opponent to have as little fun as possible. No, yeah. actually, the sign of a good commander player is if they play in a way that increases fun for the table. <sighs> okay. So we're having fun today? Yeah. Okay. You're going to love it. Okay. You're going to love it. I'm completely lost. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shall we roll for high? 
Is that fun? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. It, it, right. it is. We'll, we'll roll this one at a time. This part is fun. We'll roll one at a time. When you win. One like this. Time. All right. Wow. Five. Okay. Five. Uh-huh. No, you go. Four. Five. Oh, interesting. All so right. Do I need this? Yes. I'll roll it for posterity, make sure it's not, you know. Zero. All right. Um, Negative number or something. You're already ahead. And did you know that in Commander, you get to draw as player one? You draw at the start of your turn as player one in Commander. Is that really? cool? Yeah. Is that cool? Okay, actually, this is kind of sweet. I forget it every time. I didn't yeah, that. Every, yeah okay. that's really cool. Okay. All right, let's shuffle up and play. All right, let's do it. And you also get a free mulligan, too, just to make sure that you've got a really good, fun hand. Make sure those hands are fun. If Soul Ring's in it, I guess that's fun. Soul Ring is considered <laughs> a fun card. Yeah, okay. cool. All right. I'm gonna give this a good shuffle up, I guess, here. You can shuffle up and play. I get what that means. Can you trademark sup? Probably not. Mm, that's bummer. I'm gonna keep it. It's got no soul ring in it. No soul ring no at all. No soul. And I got no soul either, but. What's that killer song? I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Is that, is that what they say? All I, the things I've done. Well, oh, geez, you came in hot there. Wow. I'm not the person to be asking about song, music, lyric things. Okay. You killers fan? Not really. I didn't think so. No. I'll put you on that. Is that a band? It, <laughs> yes. Yes, it is a band. Uh, my hand is great. Great, all right. There we go. You got Ken over there. <laughs> yeah, more of an uppercut kind of guy. I'm ready. You're ready, all right. I, I like the spinning kick thing. Uh, yeah, hurricane oh. kick. Yeah, that's my yeah, No one specialized in that, unfortunately. And I'm going last, and I'm okay with that because Commander isn't about just going first. That's true, it's about having fun. Yeah. It's about having and fun. And so I get to go first. Yeah. And we go... Like that, yeah. That, okay, and I draw? You draw. <laughs> it's weird. It's about having fun, says the Minx and Blue guy. <laughs> suspicious. I will play an island, Magic's most fun basic land. Yeah. And uh, Jim, it's your turn. No soul ring? No soul, but I'm a soldier. Is that how it goes? No soul, but he's a content creator. I, that's that's true. true. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna play a card that uh, is about to get power crept out a little bit. Temple of Triumph. Do oh yeah. Spy. Not surveil, yeah, not, not basic surveil. land types yet. We're gonna bottom that one. Ship that to the bottom, and then I think that's uh, that's it for me. No soul for me either. I have a needle spires, red white dual land becomes a creature for four mana. Probably won't happen. I'm done. All right, foreshadowing, definitely happening. Ooh, very nice, very nice. We got some good stuff here. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna play, go ahead. Play Black Lotus Land means some good. <laughs> <laughs> just playing commander with my friends. What are you saying, go? No, I'm trying to take a turn. No. I'm trying to make a comment, which is that you think that island is the most powerful land, but in Commander, it's actually forest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there we go. And that's it. No soul ring here either. Now I got to draw on my first turn. I get to draw every other turn after. Too. You don't get to draw again for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that I could just make up rules yeah. about Commander. I would believe whatever you say. So I'll play, your, yeah. I'll play another island here. I was honestly expecting just Simeon Spirit Guide, Elvis Spirit Guide, yeah. Ancient Two, <laughs> yeah. Minx, or whatever. Yeah. Charbelcher, activate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Deck has no land, sorry. It's uh, just a video game character. It's just a character for, see, but you're both looking at it like I picked it, because it's in Vintage Cube. I picked it because I played the video game and liked the character. It's a hamster on the card, dude. Yeah. I mean, it makes hamster tokens. Yeah, how good could it be? Yeah. Uh, I'll, play, I'll play Energy Refractor. Uh, oh. Enters the battlefield, draw a card. You can pay two generic and uh, add one color, oh, add one mana of any color. That's my turn. Go ahead. All right. We draw on. It's a mountain here. And then not quite Soul Ring. Talisman of Conviction. I'm very happy they finished this cycle, by the way. Just like a side. Yeah. I'm happy they finished that one. That's the, and they finished it uh, because of Commander. No, it was Modern Horizons. Yeah, but that was really. Uh, oh, sure, it was for Commander. Aren't, aren't you on social media? That was uh, Commander Horizons, according to everybody complaining on the internet. All right, and then I'm going to tap for a white and take one and go to a 39, Precarious, and cast uh, Yoshimaru Ever Faithful. So ever a legendary permanent HP is under my control, put a counter on it. Let's partner with this little guy. And then uh, that's it for me. This party started. Not a bad little turn. Pretty good. I am not the threat with Minsk and Boo. I'm just saying. That's I'll play it. Planes. Mm -hmm. Set up shop here for later. Trailblazer's Boots. It's a two cost equipment, and I can equip it for two. And the equipped creature has non basic landwalk. And I'm done. All right. 
draw for turn. Let's go ahead, we'll play a uh, root bound crag. There's your non-basic land to walk upon. And I'm gonna tap two. We are gonna do a little thing, it's called Rampant Growth. Search mm. my library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. I'm gonna go get me another forest. Spike. Yeah, type yeah. of card they don't make in our neck of the woods anymore. Spike. Yeah. Mm. Okay. We are rampant. Prof is a spike. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I see a tournament card and I see it's not Do I really card. strike you? Tournament a card, spike. tournament card would be a tournament card. card. Yep. Actually, it is in Legacy sometimes. People, yeah, yeah, sure. sure. people yeah, play Minsk and Boo in Legacy. Oh, yeah, 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 card's outrageous. Wow. Wow. <laughs> card's right. card's right. outrageous. I, I just picked it because of the video game. <laughs> Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Have you played Baldur's Gate 3? It's so much fun. I believe that it's probably good. Okay, yeah, so I, how does this work? What? You shuffle, and then who cuts? How do, what's the you rules You make that there? my deck, okay. Cedric, since you don't trust me. I noticed you didn't present your deck for being cut to anyone at the table. It's interesting. Wow. All right, all right. What's yeah. like? Wow. And I'm the spike. Here to win. Take it easy. Okay, I'm here to win. No, to have fun. Oh, sorry. Have fun. It's fun. Fun. Okay, wait, wait, it's my turn? No, we pass to the end step. Okay. Your lands are still tapped. From the, from the <laughs> sorry. Premature untapping. Yep, that's right. Don't worry, it happens to all pro players. Pass. Here we go. Untap step. Got my upkeep. Yep. I'm gonna go to my draw. All right. Here it is. Ooh. Okay. A magic pro, I don't remember who, but described Binks and Boo as Crystal Brand, but they pay. Yep. <laughs> 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 sure, yeah. Totally fine, totally, well, I think it's a good time. Is it a good time for me to do some commandeering? I think so. All right, Urza, Urza Power Stone Prodigy. Three mana, one, three, Vigilance. Pay one and tap the draw card, discard a card. Whenever I discard one or more artifact cards, we create tap Power Stone because it entering the battlefield untapped would be too powerful. And this ability triggers only once each turn because if it were to trigger multiple times in a turn, it, can, would, also be it would be too powerful. powerful. It's your turn. It's good to have limits. That's right. All right, take up a card. We're gonna play a Tago Goblin Weapon Yeah, I don't know what that is. Two, two, for three. Whenever a land ETBs under your control, create a colorless equipment token named Rock. And then uh, I got a counter on this guy because I played a legendary. And then I'm gonna play a an isolated chapel tapped. Get my rock tokens, a landfall rock token. Now it comes to the point where competitive players and commander players diverge because I want to attack someone and I look around the table and I pick someone and someone's gonna be mad at me and that's a whole, it's a whole thing. The Prof, I'm coming to you. Uh, we got tournament staple, tournament staple, vintage cube staple, take two. So, so we're literally at a table, pro tour, pro tour, pro tour, content, I review card sleeves. Who should we attack? We, commander in play, uh, equipment that'll give uh, any creature the ability to never be blocked. <laughs> yeah, the boots. No, 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 no. If you're if you complaining boots. about the boots, you've lost all credibility. I got right. no juice. Hang on. <laughs> Nothing in play. Nothing in play. Let's swing Commander at the players. professor. I know. Commander players. They just can't take a hit. Yep. You know what happens in, in a pro tour? You get attacked. You say, take two. Threat assessment is an important part of commander as well. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. I take two. I'm having fun. Look at me, I'm at 38. Not so now, sure. For your, yeah, for your average right, commander right, player, right, now, does that speech make a player more likely to attack you or less likely to attack you? It means I'm attacking you no matter what if I have the opportunity. Ooh, okay. Until they anger me. That's how it works. Okay. okay. That's called threat assessment. I've picked up a, a pretty good trick playing commander with my group. You're gonna, someone goes to attack and you have this sort of exchange. Woe is me. I'm, just, I'm the victim of circumstance. Look at this first other guy's trailblazer's <laughs> boots. <laughs> Whatever. That's so, a good card. So when they're debating who they're going to attack and they're sort of talking out loud and, and what I do, yeah. tell them, come get it. Yeah, yeah, come get it. Gets the game over with and you know what? Most people won't attack you if you tell them to come get it. I'll untap. Did, did he finish his turn? Yeah, okay. He's done I was just, just curious. Oh, yeah. I'd like you again if I could, but I can't. After so. dog beat down some rock creation, yeah, I think he's all done. <laughs> Tapped out, played a land. Just average turn of magic. Yeah. The boots, though, I mean. So, they're so sick. <laughs> I am going to play a Rogue's Passage and Dragon's oh. Approach. So Dragon's Approach deals three damage to each opponent. You may exile Dragon's Approach and four cards named Dragon's Approach from your graveyard. If you do, search a library for a dragon creature card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. A deck can have any number of cards named Dragon's Approach. So this implies that there's probably more of these in my there deck. I'd be a little disappointed. <laughs> but in the meantime, it's three damage for each of you. 
how could oh, you we possibly deal three? damage to me? Three damage to each opponent. Wow. I don't have control over it. I mean, yeah. And it's just, it's on the card. And does. you didn't build the deck either. No, so, there's nothing. I have okay. no responsibility here, no culpability. And I'm done. All right, you're done. Untap, upkeep, draw. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to play a mountain. Mm -hmm. And now I have a little bit of revenge that needs to happen. So I'm gonna tap all four. Can you believe? Can you believe Minsk only cost four mana and you also get second commander is Boo? Ah, uh, I should be in video game. Ah, uh, yes. So when Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, enters the battlefield. Oh yeah, you should definitely read this. <laughs> and at beginning of next upkeep, you may create Boo. He legendary 1-1 one, one red space hamster. It's not, it has typo, it doesn't say space on card, but I add space anyway. Space hamster, creature token with trample and haste. How annoying would it be if I spoke in that voice for the rest of this game? That's how I felt about act three of Baldur's Gate. Anyway. I was starting to feel it, honestly. You were starting to feel it? Yeah, I was getting into it, honestly. It would be less annoying than playing against this card. <laughs> It's like one of those on glue cards, you can only play it if you make a stupid voice the entire yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's next episode that I have you out here right. for. Uh, we're gonna plus one Minsk and Boo to put three plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature with Trample or Haste. That of course, convenient. that of course is going to be my lovely space hamster here. That is now a 4-4 Trample Haste. Now let's assess the board here. Uh, there's no threat here because as we've established the Trailblazer's boots, boots, it's not that bad. This guy right here. Urza, you said that they did a lot of things that could have made him more powerful, but they, they put those limitations on him. So I, I'm not really scared of that. Jim, you got a rock. I don't like that you got a rock, so rock this. Boo is coming at you for four. No complaints. Wow. Take four. You call yourself a commander player. No complaints. You call yourself a content creator. I'm Come on. Just take damage. That's not commander damage, right? Because it's a it's a friend of the commander, not It, the it commander. should be commander damage. I think <laughs> friend of the show. Friend of the show. Yeah. It should be commander damage. Would you like to rule zero that Boo is commander sure, damage? Sure. No, no, it's not. Take it's four. Not. Awesome. And that of course plus one Minsk up to four loyalty. Very loyal to me. Pass the turn. Great. Yeah. I what? appreciate your dignity in the face of adversity. Such a huge something, hamster. Something that I think commander players could learn a lesson from. Try to be an example. Yeah. Be the change you want to see in the world. Absolutely. Or something like that. Get this turn started off right here with a uh, containment construct. Two mana construct uh, to two one. Whenever you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard. If you do, you may play that card this turn. Pretty neat when I have a card that lets me draw and discard a card. Ooh, it's like Crucible of Worlds. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I'm gonna go ahead and discard a land, you see, and that's exiled. So I would put that over here, and then I would put it into play because I can play that card this turn. He is cooking. Mm -hmm. nice. And let's not forget about the old power center that I'm gonna get, which is gonna in the battlefield tap because it'd be too powerful if it was untapped. So. Is it when you discard an artifact? You're right. Yep. Let's go ahead and put this back over here. Just keep it things, you know. Thank did, you. Did you read the card? On the nope. up and up. Reading know? the card explains the card. You want to untap your lands and. No, I'm going to keep the same game action. I was okay. really excited. Yeah, about oh, this is a great, but this is a learning moment. Okay, so Commander is a game where if everyone in the pot agrees, a mistake such as that, you can say, hey, it's okay. So I think we should all welcome uh, and encourage Cedric if he would like. Cedric, you may. Go, rewind that and do that over. I will and this is okay because we're not here to like catch you on. The, oh, you didn't read the card. It yeah. happens. Yeah. It's. Do you want to do that over? Do you want to do that over? And we will. Right, guys. Right. Mm, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Play where it lands. Yeah. No. This is. Isn't this fun that you don't have to worry about making a big mistake like that? You can just have takesy backsies. I really want that power stone. <laughs> I was really hoping nobody would catch that. You can, you can totally. Nope. Wait, you were hoping no one would catch that? That's just a, uh, wait, that's a weird word. Wait, that's your turn too. Yeah. Wait, wait, did you just turn. say you were hoping no one would catch that? That's nope. a different thing. No, no, no. <laughs> Jim, that's your turn. That's right. your turn. They that's how that. real competitive they magic is played. That. Hope no one catches that. <laughs> yeah. right. Ooh, that's a cool card. All right, I got some, uh, <laughs> reading the card. All right, explains the card. So, we're gonna start things out with a clifftop retreat, which will landfall me into another rock token. Now I've got two rock tokens, thanks to Tago Goblin Weaponsmith. And uh, I spread a lands here, so that's a little none of these. What is a charcuterie board? I spread. <laughs> and then uh, let's play a uh, Vile Smash of the Fierce. Okay, whenever you cast your first spell, so I can't trigger about this turn, but it's gonna put a counter on my Yoshimaru. And then we're gonna play a little Basilisk Collar. It's kind of a cool card. Oh. 
he's gonna give Death Touch and Life Link. Kind of a fun one. Imagine complaining about Minsk and Boo, but not complaining about Vile Oh, oh Minsk and Boo is dead. By the way, we're gonna we're, we're, we're getting there. Oh boy! Yeah, this is gonna be like a the Minx and Boo kill counter game. I think we're all gonna team up and see if we, we can kill Minx and Boo as many times as possible. Okay. So uh, we're gonna move to combat, and we got four loyalty over there. We're just gonna send over both the Yoshimaru and the Tago, and do a little uh, overkill onto Minx and Boo. Sure. That's cool. The table. Well, onto now onto Minsk and Sorry. Boo, but not Minx, Boo. Yeah, Minx himself. Minx well, proper. But it's, the card is called Minx and Boo, but you I'll, can I'll only get Minx and Boo, but that's, not that's Boo. The, I'll just want to be clear that you're getting the Minx red, green, and Boo, Boo, but not Minx, mana, not Minx and, like and Boo and Boo. There's Minx two Boo. Boos. Such a really good card. There's two it's Boos, dead. Boo. You can move up the table. Two Boos, Boo. <laughs> yeah. All right. And okay, so well, hang on. So now, now I think it's gonna cost six. Yeah, now, ah, so are you not familiar? Well, you are familiar with it because you just referred to it. Wow. So this is called commander tax. So in order to bring Minx and Boo back in, yeah. I have to pay six. It's a lot. Yeah, oh. yeah. And I just have a token in play, so I'm obviously not the threat, correct? That is the threat. Anyway. We'll see. Um, We're gonna equip a rock here. I need a second rock. And we're gonna pay one. We're gonna equip this rock onto Tago. So you're getting that rock to go? Yes. There it is, here. And then I can tap it and shock something, and I guess it for me. I got a bunch of, bunch of stuff in play, and uh, I'll pass the turn. I'm sorry, I was disassociating. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you have a good turn. Oh, I'm about to, oh, me oh my. Yes, Professor's the threat. You were briefly. I was not. You still have a large. <laughs> four, four. You have a four, four. You have the largest creature in play. It's true. Four, four. All right. This bum that can't even make power stones. I'm going to cut a deal. Ooh. Oh, what's that do? So one white and two colorless. Each opponent draws a card. Then I draw a card for each opponent who drew that way. All right. But it's optional for us to draw or? No, it's templated. So what's the deal? Like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is like an editor ran wild on this one. It is mandatory that each opponent draws. And then we count up the number of opponents and then I draw them. Sure. So draw three, draw one. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So cool. Deal. What a, what a buddy. Yeah, a, a multiplayer. It's a force deal. Yeah. yeah, I I try to make a fun multiplayer game here. That's still referred to the, as, a, as a group hug. Is that is that the correct terminology? Still got the boots ready. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, ish, 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 ish. I'm gonna, gonna need play a uh, Rustvale Bridge. It's an indestructible artifact, red, white duel, and I'm done. All right, gonna untap. Boo is still here. Draw, play a uh, Moss Fire Valley, and then I see. That one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that the full filter? Odyssey. Yeah. Odyssey, Odyssey, baby. Filter. This is the competitive cool. nature of coming out from the three of us. Back in the day, that back in the day, that's the best you got. Yeah, that's right. That's that, it. Was a, that was a chase rare. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap three, and it's time to cultivate. Search my library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield there. tapped. Another torment staple, got it. Yeah, yeah. we're going to go get mm -hmm. okay. us forest. Yeah. Okay, just checking. All these cards what, that I could have brought my commander in this turn. No, no, no. You, you couldn't do you, that. You, just, just math checking. No, those. just it's all tournament, tournament staple cards. Tournament. Yeah. Rate, tournament, rate, tournament, rate, tournament, rate, 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 rate. It's a casual game. Interesting, definitely. interesting. All top eight of Pro Tours for sure. Mr. Professor. Mr. Yeah. Professor. Well, you know, a lot of those cards are good in Commander too. That's the thing. Ah. It turns out, it turns out, did you know that there are many cards that are played in Popper that are also played in Legacy? There are many cards that are played in Modern that are also played in Legacy. Just let me know when you horizons. use a wooden, just let me know when you use a wooden foot hills to get a Tiger. Yep, right. that's, just keep me yeah. looped in. Yep, that's fair. That can happen. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm just assuming <laughs> Cedric wants to always cut. I mean, feel free to shuffle it, whatever. Well, I'm here to shuffle up and play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the show. Yeah. You can play land. I'm, I'm waiting. Well, oh, okay. I want to give it a good cut. Right. <sighs> Forest comes into play you tapped. The mountain goes. Notice me revealing to my hand. There you go. All right, there we go. Balls. Thank you. Gonna go that's that's gonna great. orient it that way for you. That's, that's wonderful. That's a good one. You you just have the three three. That's it. Ooh, want to give him a taste? Yeah. I wouldn't even block if I could. Well, you can. Please feel free to. Take it. Your, good to that. Good turn yeah. by you. That, it's like I've played this format before a few times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'd like to also draw people's attention to the fact that I have two lands open and many cards in hand. Uh, counter spills do exist outside of uh, blue. Kind of. 
And there might be some crazy commander precon card. Might be some crazy commander precon card you don't know about. Pass the turn. Well, that, that statement's definitely true. Yeah, that is. <laughs> right, what are we? Okay. Yeah, is... seed time maybe? Wait, yeah. what is this? I'll play uh, on the end of Professor's turn. Goblin Firebomb. Oh. Uh, single mana flash artifact. And sack it to destroy target permanent. That okay, closely away. related on power level to rampant growth and cultivate. Yeah. Okay. About right. efficiency how wise. How much, how much pro play does uh, that card get, Cedric? They play that in Infinity? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even search for this with Karn. So, very little. Okay. Very little. Okay. But there's still time. Urza Saga? You can get it with Urza Saga. You sure can. That's true, yeah. I'm going to draw a card for my turn. Here we go. Let's see if my. It has turn. Avenues. Let's see if this uh, turn can be better than the last. Oh. So, I've made a promise to myself that if I ever play Urza Saga in a tournament, I'm going to play with a Glasses of Urza <laughs> to go get very funny to me. Just point it out. <laughs> just, yeah. just, so this is how much I'm winning by. Get a little whiskey. Scope it out. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do a little cooking here. Yeah. Let it, wait, wait. Let him cook. Let me, let me. You get that reference? I get the. I'm hip with the reference culture. <laughs> let's, oh, actually, well, hang on a second. Vigilance, baby. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this started up real nice. Hey, you. That's plus right. One. Yep. Thirty nine plus one commander damage. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we're going. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and activate. Let's see if we can get it right this time. Draw and discard. Draw. So far, so good. Okay. Discard. Here it comes. Easy, easy over there. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the discard. The rules for stud po poker insert or whatever. Yeah. Which, which, <laughs> which card? <laughs> Charizard. Yeah. Uh, uh, discard. Ah, that card. Thanks. Zodia's left leg. Okay, yeah. Well, so burnished, good. burnished heart. Well, that's an artifact. Yeah. There's the power stone. There you go. You have the power. I, I that all now, out. He's okay. got the power. And now if I want, I can play this yeah. because uh, this lets me do that. Okay. Pretty good. So you have to pay mana for it, so I'll do that. that. And we'll play a land for the turn. Lucky. Now that, that's a turn. That's a pretty good right turn. There. That's an extremely a fun and competitive turn. Yeah. You yeah, this this two one here because I get a pot shot at prof. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm it. no, I'm, I don't want to pick a fight with him. Just so it would also no. yeah. We don't. He, he already oh, had yeah. his attack phase. You can pick a fight. You just pick it. Wow. You only get one attack phase unless a card says otherwise. I'm it. ready to defend. Look at what casual magic has done. I know, to you. He's falling apart. Already. Just <laughs> can't. Doesn't know what the cards do. Not attacking for free damage. Just like the fourth turn of his second commander game ever. He's already falling apart. No, <laughs> I'm doing the best that I can. How many cards in your hand? Like nine? That's, that's, I'm not answering that question. <laughs> it's your turn. It's your turn. See, so this I think is you'll you'll find is probably the biggest philosophical change of having the the pros coming in play. Is you're gonna go from a table of people like begging not to be attacked to a table of people begging to be attacked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just All right. Cedric's moving to combat and me and Jim are just like, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. I'm holding steady. All right, we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play a land. We're gonna play an exotic orchard, which is a land that taps for mana that you have. Spell Warstone on a land, I believe. Okay. So we got a red, white, green, blue land. So no black, unfortunately. I get a rock token from Tago, Landfall, and uh, that's where it kind of goes, honestly. Oh yeah. It's a survey. I have a lot of permanents in play. I've got rectangles for days. When you use the rock, is the creature the source of damage or the rock is? What a creature has. Pay one, tap, sacrifice rock. This creature does two damage, yes. So it can get a little life. Oh, well, death touch, well yeah. yeah, burying the lead a little bit. No, death touch is the... If you kill, uh, you kill a hamster or two as well. Not that I would do that, obviously, but you know, <laughs> it's just a thing that I could do. All right, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna play an old friend of mine, Hashalik Mons. And we're gonna put him into play. He's a 2-2 goblin for three. Whenever he or another goblin dies, deal one to anything, and then uh, pay three, sack a goblin, make two goblins. So yeah, that's that's, that's the on here. That's pretty good. So my Yoshimaru's gonna get a little bigger, and then um, we are going to definitely move to combat because that's how we like to do things here. And I appreciate the invitation. Clean shot. No, no, I see that. <laughs> So now, how do these like little blood feuds go in Commander? Do you like just at a certain point we should kiss and make up? 
Is it dodge? Oh. Like, dodge like a like Godzilla vs Kong. Do you, you don't death. really want to spend the whole game with us at each other's throats, do you? So you want to like make up right now and I mean I'm ally guessing, and take out these two. I didn't say ally. Ally's, ally's a big step. Okay. Ally's like moving in together. That's a big step. Yeah. Like like uh, I just say, do you really want to continue this feud or do you want to spread it around a little bit? Like, like actually, I, that sounds more like, hey, please stop attacking me. I'm no. tired of you attacking. Actually, me. you know what? Bring it. I'm, I'm, the pro player is rubbing off on me. <laughs> bring it, bring it. Ah! This is, uh, this is what pro players are like, right? That's, a, that's exactly, exactly correct. What, yeah, that's exactly I, it's what it's day two yeah. of Pro Tour yeah. right now. Yeah. Let's go! That's exactly what happens. Yeah, bring it at me, I'm right. not scared. But you should be. I got two mana on tap. Who knows what that is? Mm. Flash something. Terrified. Man. Mortified. Petrified. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm going to still send Yoshimaru over at you because that's just what I want to be doing. At you, you mean Patrick? Uh, no, no we're, uh, you, Prof. Me, okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, Vile Smasher. Were you supposed yeah. to trigger your Vile Smasher off of this? Yes, actually. Uh, look, at, look at me. All right. Here, we can that's a miss trigger. We'll call Judge and nope. then we'll, uh, we'll say. We can do take back seats. That's fine. I believe with the S table if they want me to have a trigger or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Oh, it's Absolutely, fine. yeah. yeah. Okay. One in three shot, it's right. me. So. All right, so. Oh, that's right, it's random. Right, so. Right. Really first fun. First spell I cast is Mons. So this is whenever your first uh, spell is being cast. Deal damage, even the amount of value to a random opponent. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty fun one, actually. Yeah. All right, so. That's a pretty what one? I, I said fun. Hey! Right. We're getting there. One, We're two, getting there. three, four, five, six. All right, cool. All right, Patrick. Take, take, uh, take three damage. All right, I'm down to 36. All right, so I was, and this is mid-attack stuff. I put my trigger so a lot. Continue to attack, I guess. Boy. Uh, real, real pro here. Call that a string attack. <laughs> <laughs> that takes you more. Sure. Yeah. So I take two more, and that's also commander damage, right? Correct. So uh, two from that. Yep. And, and Prof, you take four with the, the, the four commander damage from the, uh, the Ever Faithful. And then we're going to attempt to put the collar onto the Tago. What do they call this a commander? You have like a, a finger on a trigger, but you're not going to use it yet. Is there like a term for that? It's like having a finger on the trigger, but you're not going to use it yet. It's a, Perfect. Yeah, Nailed it. <laughs> Go. I will say, so far in this game, Tago's the coolest card. Yeah. It, it rock is. It's really fun. That throws, yeah. that throws rocks is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Every new land that comes down, it's like, I'll take a rock from that, please. Yeah. Oh, an island? I'll pull a rock out of there. Sure. There's rocks on an island. Um, planes? There's a rock in there. Gra in the grass. All right. I'll play Bonders Enclave. Uh, land that taps for a call list. Tap in. Free to draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. And I am going to try to play Council's Judgment. Ooh. Will of the Council, starting with you, each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes or is or tied for most votes. This is the cool. odd, this is an odd experience because we, great. we've all played against this card many, many, many times and it does not do that. I've never played like this. I've it's, never played this right. card like this ever. So this is very interesting because what we can do is politic here. And if we all target different things, we all get to remove different things. It's true. Yeah, the, in, in competitive play, one on one, this is just Oblivion Ring, except your opponent can misclick sometimes and lose multiple things. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is my preference. Yeah, it does that's happen. Kind of card. Does happen. Cool. All right, so is this resolving? Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Uh, all right, so let's get rid of once Jim's it, board. Once it resolves, it's chosen, and there's no responses to anything on that. So last little thing on this, yeah. you cannot pick one of my cards. Okay. So you can't you can't get the boots. Oh, uh, that was my first thought. I really wanted to just get yeah. out of here. All right, I think I'm gonna activate my Tago. Where will determine on how everyone's talking about voting. So uh, talk to me, because my, my two targets right Do now. Do whatever you want, pal. I would like to- uh, Throw your stupid rock and keep it moving. He will, he will rock you. All right, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna target the, the containment construct. It's dead. Do the favor, do the table a favor. It's I'm gonna dead. gain two life off a lifelink off the basilisk collar. The rock goes away. And uh, now the judgment will resolve and we commence our monopoly style shenanigans. I'm gonna name basilisk collar. It's a good name. I'm gonna name Vile Smasher. I call right. a little time out here. Yeah, time out. You want the collar? What do you want? Do whatever you're gonna do. Yeah, I don't really. I, I'm not really that just invested. Trying to, in this. Bro trying to broker. No, I'm deal. trying to do what's best for the table, Cedric. Okay. What are your priorities? So if you if you were to name Boo, mm -hmm. then I would name something else. Then I could work with you. Right, and then you'd want me to not kill one of your things, so you would kill the Boo, and I I might kill the boots. Yeah. You yeah. can't. You can't vote for my stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Did you read the card? Yeah. Reading the card I, I, explains I not, the card. I did not. I have a. A vague understanding of what it does, and I'm happy with that. What if I just um, named Rock? Without <laughs> <laughs> a, a card. Which one? I can't do that. Uh, I'm gonna name uh, 
pa- was that Pashalik Mons? He doesn't understand. Ju- he doesn't I, understand. So if you pick That's a, a name, diff- file answer. Uh, if you pick okay, a sure. different name, yeah. he just gets to pick the least valuable of the three. I'm aware of that. Oh, okay, yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> well, then why even? Okay, he's gonna. So he's gonna. He's gonna lose something either way. He's that was, lose the that was never not going to happen. Yeah, he's gonna lose something. You should way. name. Okay, out of the two, Basilisk Collar okay. and Vile Smasher, which would you rather go away? I don't know. See, I can help Jim out here. Don't you understand that I'm kind of partnering oh up with God. him? I love this. One yeah, of this, this is great. And now Jim gets to choose, and now we're buddies. Wow. Ten, ten years of this. Is this huh? your guys' there's, first there's, commander game? There's some friendship equity happening. Is this right? yours? Huh? That's your second. It really caused a little chaos. I'm going to name this one. Oh my god. Go ahead, Jim. Pick whatever you want. I, right. I should have named Basilisk Color. I'm sorry. You should have. It's not my fault. Well, I was trying to spice it up. All right. Well, uh, I'll name Val Smasher also. Really? I'll Interesting. Go, we'll go back into the command zone. All right. Oh, all right. I win. And then this is going to go up. You do one or two. What's the best way to get by the uh, attacks? What would m- indicate the, the knowledge to you best? It's one. It's one. It's been cast one time. So. Okay. okay, so judgment has been passed. Great job, everyone. All right, I'm done. Thanks, bud. <laughs> no problem. I even killed your your guy too. I know. Pay it forward. Yeah. Wow. Damn. All right. I'm gonna rain hell on you. <laughs> not not I've not to give away too much. That's fine. I'm, That's fine. Yeah. I'm trying to build a friendship here. I'm coming in. I'm gonna come in fourth, but I know who's coming in third. It is, it, <laughs> it is weird that I helped someone out in a coalesce shirt. That's strange. Oh. It is comfortable, actually. Isn't it's it? very yeah. Isn't it really it? is. You know. I, I guess I should go to coalesceapparel.com and shop pick one up. Uh, coalesce uh, shop. Co. co co what? Nothing. Nothing. What's the Nothing. website? No one types in your else anymore. Coalesceapparel.shop. Not a sponsor. Nope. Just sells t-shirts. That's what we do. And hoodies. Stickers yeah, too. What? I want you to consider this to be an extension of your hand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Okay. That's awesome. So, cool. Yeah. We, we do a 2HG here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this is 2HG. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I'm going to play a mountain. Oh, here it comes. And no, I don't know. I don't know. I got some I got some, I got some. choices I wonder what the Mule Michael... Titan. I was going to say, what's like the best ex- exploration yeah, what's for the best Field of the Dead and Tabernacle? Or... Yeah. But actually, I am going to bring Minsk and Boo back out, you know? Okay, that's not bad. All right, so Great I'm play. Paying, Love that. paying the commander tax, uh, bringing back Minsk and Boo there, and we're going to bring uh, Minsk up to four, and we're going to put three counters, making that a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to swing that over at uh, Jimothy. Wow, you two really don't want to take seven. No, he did it to me, and I am just... Take seven. Protecting. All this is a defense. Prof, all you're doing is guaranteeing that Minsk and Boo is dead again. All right, hang on. Let me, let me rewind. I mean, all right, let me rewind that then. If I don't send it at you, are you going to just keep him around? Find Maybe. Out. I don't know. You just had a lot happen to it's you. It's guaranteed death for Minsk and Boo if I get attacked. Otherwise, we're all How nice. about guaranteed your... What is that on me then? You're gonna no, use... I'm saying if he says it's guaranteed, it's not really. Well, that... We can work that out. Oh. Try to see it my way. Never mind. It's coming at Jim. <laughs> Seven. Take it. Yeah. Uh, I want I want the record to show here. Oh, it's great. Right. This is a this is this is this is a great commander player. Yeah. I want the record to show, Jim, that you said Mix and Boo guaranteed dead if you attack me. Mm-hmm. I want to circle back to that guarantee and oh. when we get back to your turn. Okay. Well, I am hereby making you an honorary commander player. Yeah, just eventually, just something happens that sends me over, <laughs> and then uh, I start playing with a different set of objectives. That's so awesome. I'll, That's awesome. Uh, you're, you're great fun. I have received a lot of praise in my commander group for speeding up the games. <laughs> That's the thing I appreciate a lot, yep. too, actually, yeah. That's important. It, are you all set over there? Um. Yeah, yeah. I guess fast button. I'm, 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 I'm good. Okay, here we go. Blue team, I'm gonna do a little untap ski poo. I'm gonna put the power stone down yonder. I'm gonna draw a card for my turn. Oh Pro- yeah. Prof, did you ever play Smash Brothers? Uh, I have a 10 year old, I still play Smash Brothers. So I played so when I was a teenager and I was the worst one in our group by far. Yeah. So I would just play Donkey Kong and try to grab people and jump off sure. with them. My commander style, very similar. <laughs> yeah. I just mash all the buttons. My commander style, very similar. Yeah. I just go like Love. this in Smash Brothers. Did I win? Just checking in on my boots here. <laughs> Play a land for the turn. They're they're nice boots. I mean, they are really nice. Never Fashion worn. Yeah, <laughs> never yeah. worn. Still in the original <laughs> box. <Trailblazer laughs> <shoes. laughs> they're they're never a, worn. A collector's item for displaying, not for wearing. All right. It's your turn, Jim. That was a riveting turn. Thank you. All right. 
It's what we like to call a setup turn in the biz. Crank it up and unzap. We're gonna draw. So you got seven up? Oh, I sure God. do. What's up, seven up? And you got the activated Frankie. ability over there. Oh, with seven. I do, heads ha I do have a goblin firebomb that I can activate at any time, in case anyone decides to get a little uh, out of line. Yep. Sounds like something Jim would do. All right, uh, I'll play a swamp. Jim and I are friends. I'm gonna add to my rock collection. He is wearing one of your t-shirts at rocks. That's right. Besties. Why doesn't coalesce apparel make ties? All you gotta do is Or vests. Some. Requires one email. Oh. One email, bud. Ooh, you know what for lot. you? One that's Twitter a, DM. One Twitter DM. That's right, I'll let you slide in. That's, yeah, all right. Come on in. <laughs> Water's warm. It's comfy in there. <laughs> I don't even want to cast this card. <laughs> I'm like pretty, no, pretty, no, pretty, pretty, pretty confused. No, I'm going to cast it. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Because it works differently on Magic Online. <laughs> it does. <laughs> the You're bastion in, for competitive play. In the real world. Yeah. Are you telling me Magic Online is not a direct one-to-one -to, -one to pay for Magic? You surprised. I, I'm, uh, yeah. All right. I'm just, I don't know what happens. All right. I'm going to play uh, Blank Goblin, which is known as Name Sticker Goblin. Oh, no. Oh. In the circles that I roll in. So. Uh, but when this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a Name Sticker on it. Judge. Yep. That was a name sticker. Sticker Wrangler. It's in I do. your box. I do. I, it's in your box. I know. I, I I understand I have a sticker sheet. Doesn't mean I understand what the hell it is. So you uh, have to so. take a... Don't you... It, don't you love stickers? So... Stickers! I get to look at... Now, I, I, I don't know... What is happening? <laughs> you get to peel a sticker. <laughs> Can I stop this if I kill it with the trigger on the stack? Or does <laughs> no. it just happen? Let it... Let it happen. Okay. It is just, it, it just let it happen. All right, fine. So if, fine. You, if you kill it, response the sticker like fall to the table and just like get stuck there. Now let him pick a sticker. All right. So I, I don't know. I, I'm supposed to have one sticker sheet or a million. What's it I, say? I have a sheet here. You have a sticker it sheet. Says, it says trained blessed mind. There's a little zap icon. There's, there's a, only there's, one there's choice. Gandalf staff. Where did you get the stickers from? Red ball. If they come from the sticker sheet. This is how stickers work. Come on. This was and this was the decision was made to not keep this unset only, but that this is okay to go into Legacy Popper. This is Legacy Playable. Yeah, absolutely. Play Legacy. I, ser yeah. I seriously feel like yeah. I'm blacking out right now. <laughs> what is going on? Where did these stickers come from? They come from the sticker yeah, shoot. You get, to, you get to have a sticker deck. This is so made up. This is, <laughs> no, this is not Silver Border. Not only legal in Legacy, but like actively playable. Bring at least 10 unique sticker sheets. <laughs> no repeat sheets. That's cheats. Yeah. Well, you, there's always read that. You made that up, right? Welcome to Competitive <laughs> Magic. You better be killing the entire table this turn. <laughs> we can't We can't play on with this sort of thing in the game. So which All sticker right. are you picking? Right, so, what uh, are your choices again? When this creature enters the battlefield, put a name sticker on it, add a red for each unique vowel. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, everyone watching at home, <laughs> the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and why? Definitive, not sometimes, definitely why. Did you why. really need reminder text for what is a vowel? They did, so I did. I'm just reading the card. Reading the card explains the card and the alphabet, all right? Okay, hang on. So this is this is just- we, we have English degrees. We need to, we need this. this is so important. this is seething song. It just wastes everyone's time. Jim, but you know which sticker you need to put on there, right? I, I didn't count yet, all right? But like- Mind? That's, that, not, that's not a very good one. Uh, no, wait. Uh, bless? Jim. Not very good either. Jim, what's your first choice? What's the first choice there? Say it again. Trained? No, the, you, what did you just say? The word of the sticker. Mind? Mind. So if you put the sticker on this card, what does it make this card? What's happening? Mind Goblin. Okay. Makes it a Mind Goblin. Okay. Don't why you get that, it? Why is that anything? Are you not on social media? I try not to be. Oh. All right, the show, let's just go home. I mean, we're, we're done here, I think. I seriously <laughs> cannot believe what's happening. I feel like... <laughs> Like this is a this is I'm being punked basically that I got brought out here. I have a, I have a story. To he has tell a, you a book of stickers for his card. <laughs> Who can? This is like a bad sticker sheet for this too, because like supposed to have his stickers. Well, in you should have brought your own. Oh, well, I yeah, guess you should have brought. Yeah, no, you should have brought, yeah. no, you should brought no. his own stickers. Yeah, you should always have a sticker book on you. I just wanted him to be made known. That <laughs> if I, you're please, playing... <laughs> please God, just pick a sticker. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm going to choose the trained sticker. Not the mind sticker. Much to the chagrin of everyone. We literally. Yeah. All by the way, everybody, all of the staff is all throwing up their hands. Yep, right no, no fun TikTok here. No mind goblin TikTok. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, audience. Uh it's a, it's a thing? It's a train goblin. Mind goblin D's nuts. <laughs> Don't you? How am I teaching you this? I'm still, 
I still don't get it. Cedric, if you had a counter spell in your hand, you didn't cast it, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> show me, show me. Did you have, not show, did you have a counter I'm spell? Not showing did you have stopped this? I'm not showing you my hand. You can't look at it. All right. <laughs> Keep uh, going. So, uh, oh, I get it finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> My goblin. <laughs> I'm sorry, give me a second here. Oh, you mind goblin? No, I get it. You I get mind it. goblin? I get, it. I get it. I get it. I can see why you should. Stop. Like that. Yeah, Stop. Stop. I get it. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, okay. How much mana do you have now? Like, wow. <laughs> do you know how much mana you have? Nope. Okay. Uh, I think three. I, I don't even know. <laughs> um. I'm, still, I'm more curious why why is a vowel. <laughs> All right. We're good. Okay. Right. Okay. We're good. Okay. We're good. I believe I have three red mana floating. If that's cool with everyone. Yeah. We get back to the task at hand here. Okay. Yep. Stickers. Well, we, can't, we can't we can't stop your sticker, I guess. So yeah, you have three red. Yeah, I have a and now does this sticker stay forever? So if it dies, it comes back. It Aren't so you a pro player? player? Don't you know? <laughs> let's let's cover that when it comes up. Alright, sure. How about that? Alright, so three red mana. Yeah. We're gonna use one mana and we're gonna put a, a rock onto Tago. Ooh. Is that cool to everyone? I you're, no you're, you're, you're fanning some responses. Rock and responses. roll. Rock and um, roll. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. All right. Try. Use a mana. We're going to tap Tago. Down to one mana floating. And throw the rock at the boo. All right, Patrick, go. I, the card I had doesn't is he, work Is he your lap dog? <laughs> no, but he promised me it wasn't going to. You promised me, you're, Patrick. You're no, I said I promised that your minx and boo is going to survive combat. Well, my boo is. You said minx and boo. Yeah. So, and so, and boo. So just minx. Okay. <laughs> there goes my boo. Right, yeah, so take, I, take me to court. I, hey, hey, I Jim. Like. Hey, Jim. Jim. Boo. <laughs> boo, indeed. I go up to uh, 25, pretty sure. And uh, still have one mana floating. We're going to use another mana. The collar over onto the Mons, if that's cool with everyone. Can't stop you. I'm just offering the option. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you got some mallet over. Let's put a rock onto old Monzi. I guess I'm gonna fire a shot. We're gonna attack my little ever faithful buddy here at the old Minxkin Boo and fulfill my promise to get hit with. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Source of plow shares. Exile target creature, and you gain life equal to its power. Is that a commander card, or what, what is that? Uh, is that Doctor a... Who, maybe? Uh, so we're getting exiled. It was, uh, I gained four. It goes to the command zone, right? So that's how all that works. It's, a doctor, it's Doctor Who. That there. A doctor Who. Okay. It, was made, it was made for Doctor Who. It's based on the lore. <laughs> I never, I, I'm sorry, I watched one episode of Doctor Who. It's the one with those creepy aliens make you forget stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't cool. remember that episode. Exactly. Yeah, I should have said I remember either, but uh, very creepy. And uh, the silence, right? Yeah. All right. And then um, I will pass the turn. I think that's enough for me. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Pass Checking turn. in on the guarantee. Good. You guarantee. Well, you said Minx and Boo, but Boo is gone. But I'll allow it. I, I, I'm very happy with what. I'm very happy with how that went. Yeah, you're, he's your lap dog, so that's fine. No, he's not my lap dog. Just like, oh, Patrick, spring into action and and call. No, I was just like, this task get, for me. I was like, go get him, friend. No, that's not what I heard. Comrade, I heard, I heard chop chop here to work, fellow pro tour player. Mm -hmm. How many cards are there in everyone's hand? Oh boy. Oh, here we go. I know. What I this have is. a. I have three. I have seven. Seven. Okay. I'm gonna try to play the wedding of River Song. <laughs> wow. So I draw two cards, then I can exile a non-land card from your hand with a number of time counters on it equal to its mana value. Then target opponent does the same. Cards suspended this way that don't have suspend gain suspend. So basically I draw two. I, I stopped listening, I'm sorry. Draw two, <laughs> put a card on suspend equal to its mana cost. I could choose, I get to choose someone else to also put a card. Sure, okay. And then I can move my time counter up or down. What uh, is so card draw? Cedric. So I get to put a card on suspend? Yes. Okay. I also get to draw two. Must be nice. Ooh, Master Thieves fun. I'm gonna move this down. Okay, so you have a generous gift on suspend on two? Correct. Master of Ethereum has three suspend counters because it costs three. Nailed it. Do you see? Yeah. Now, the, is is the Wedding of River Song a good uh, uh, legacy card? 
Uh, I doubt it. Just draw two cards and then wait eight turns to do anything. All right, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. That we'll play another copy of Dragon's Approach. Ooh. Deal three to everyone. All right, three damage everyone. You know the drill. <laughs> All right, we're gonna untap. Oh, oh, oh time, time out, time out. What? I gotta make good on my promise. mid mid untap. No, it's gonna be at the end of Patrick's turn. All right, we can't we can't just like you know slither on through phases or whatever. Uh, we we have rules. But I like slithering. And there are rules. Uh, Patrick, at the end of your turn, I have effects. Lightning bolt. Targeting. <laughs> Minx can boo. Minx can boo is at four. Goes down to one. Th th those things are all true. Hang on. Whoa. Okay. So I am passing priority after the lightning bolt because I, I believe it goes to me yeah, and now it's process. Yep. Yeah. Uh, How's this work? Elaborate your question, please. Do you have to like pay to activate it? It's one mana to activate the rock, yes. Okay. I'm gonna activate Urza's Power Stone. Urza's Power Stone Prodigy in response. So you're looting a response to the bolt? Yes. Okay, so bolts on a stack, so the boost, boost still at four. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna discard Circular Logic. Oh! What year is it? Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. Hold on, I lied. Why, why would you defend the, the bolt? I thought we were friends. Hold on. We can cut a deal, Cedric. You I'm gonna I. discard a trading post because I need to discard an artifact to make a power stone. Ah. Uh, do you see? We will allow the take back, see? Yeah, that's a thopter. Yeah, sure. That's a thopter. Isn't that fun that Commander allows that? Another power stone enters the battlefield tapped. Okay. I will cast circular logic Okay. Why? on the lightning bolt. Why are you doing this? Because oh. you're being mean to the professor. Yeah! Oh. Look at my board versus your boards. Yeah. You're being mean. And I'm just trying Patrick. to keep You're it. being mean. The planeswalker off the table. All right. And also, you made me feel stupid about your mind goblin. I didn't do that. That was you. That was you, you, deserve, you do deserve that, some I, pushback for bringing that card. All right, I, for playing the card, sure. I, mean, I didn't. I didn't build it. I, I felt that was you an know? unfair dunk on Cedric's meme knowledge. Yeah. How about that? So here's my question for you, Prof Jim. Mind Goblin, the circular that. logic. That was his. That was his. Huh? Look at him. Look how happy he is. Yeah. Everybody, this is supposed to be fun, and now he's having fun. All right. Lightning bolts. Look, I'm just trying to get invited back. Guess come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's smart. That's, that's the best plan anyone's made the entire time that's been right. here, so. Oh, man. All right, so. Pay it forward. Yeah. Boo's, uh, Boo's still on on four. All right, yeah. that's, that's fine. All right, yeah, lightning bolt gets countered. How often is a lightning bolt countered in a game of Commander, by the way? I don't, not, mm. Has ever happened before? It, it, I'm sure it's happened. In the history of? Everything's right. happened somewhere. I will pass priority also. All right, we continue. I'm, I, I untap. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw. Don't Let forget you get, about you get, this. You get a little. Uh, you get a little. Buddy. During my upkeep, after you draw, <laughs> second upkeep, a second upkeep. <laughs> I get boo back. I, I just thought the had first upkeep. Yes. <laughs> I just thought the client would put the token in for right, yeah, automatically. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work all the time there either. All the time there. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. All right, and so uh, boo is back in play. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Okay. We, we call that the gentleman's upkeep. <laughs> after I draw. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna play a mountain. Let's start by upticking Minsk and Boo to five to put three counters on Boo. And then uh, tap two green and two more for Naeth of the Dire Hunt. This is a three, three human warrior. Whenever one or more creatures I control fight or become blocked, draw a card. Now it also says at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay two and a red or a green. If you do double target creatures power until end of turn, that creature must be blocked this combat if able. All right, time out. Before we uh, go on with the turn here, I wanna just take a moment to notice that Prof played a non-tournament card. So it's, just, it's, it's like turn 10 of the game or whatever. We see a, you know, a card that's not a tournament staple. Just Big of well done. All right, now I'm going to move to the beginning of combat on my turn, and I'm gonna nay nay, meaning I'm just gonna spend gonna three. We're gonna watch you whip. I'm watch you nay nay. That's right. I don't know what the second part. I don't know what the nay nay is. Yeah. I just know the whip is this. Oh, okay. okay, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna double booze power. So this is now a eight four. See, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't come here. I like, shouldn't. Yeah, it's it's gonna it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be. I, I like hamsters. Oh. I don't want to kill a hamster. I'm just saying, like. I was friendly to you, so there's no way you're attacking me. You got a clean shot at the bow on me if you want. <laughs> Eight at Patrick. All right, cool. Uh, I go to 26. I don't get to draw a card, though, because if I had gone at you, I would have had to be blocked. And, but Your then hamster I would, would my... be dead. Yeah, I don't want to lose. How could you kill a hamster? Dead. How could you kill a hamster? That's your, so Your planeswalker cool. lives to kill hamsters. That's what he does. No! The words sacrifice a hamster are on the card. 
That's true. Same Reading the card there. explains the card. It's That's like just horrible. Card. Why would you do that? Pass turn. End of your turn, Prof. Yeah. Have a little heart. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to search my library for up to two basic lands, put them on the battlefield tapped. One. Two. We made all your islands match because I know that's important to pro players. It is, it is very important to me. It's very important to me. So job well done, everyone involved. I personally think basics should not match because then you get to see more artwork. No. That's I think that's cool. cool. I love basic land artwork, so I feel uh, it's commander. You don't need to do that, Cedric. But there's a um, level. I'll, 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 I'll cut. That's fine. Yeah. There's, a, there's a level of aesthetics and having all the same. Oh my God. You want to cut too? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, sure. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Give it a good one. Look at me. I got three things on my board. You want to give Jealous. It, you want to give it a wash? <laughs> Thank you. Whoosh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Big turn coming up for the blue mage. Let's and that's see what, it. That's what everybody knows me as. Big Does, time blue player. Yo, know, Cedric, you remember Pile Shuffle Ponder Guy, right? I'll never forget Pile Shuffle Ponder Guy. Covered in SEG, yeah. Legacy Tournament. Guy goes turn one, island ponder, decides to shuffle, and then starts piling on camera. Uh huh. And I was like, yo, you gotta get this guy to stop. Can't do this. It's not, not okay. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta call somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Get someone down yo, there now. Gotta, call the police. <laughs> yo, you gotta, I didn't even think that was something. I'd never seen something like that. <laughs> we got 10 mana to work. I'd almost wanna let him do it, just see if you would do it again in the next ponder. <laughs> like, you know, like. Like, is he a serial ponder shuff pile shuffler, or like, it's just a one time lapse and maybe he's nervous on camera, you know? Like, I'm gonna put this down to two suspend counters. I've already drawn, so yeah. that was in the second upkeep. Gentleman's upkeep. Gentleman's upkeep. Gentleman's upkeep. Gentleman's upkeep. <laughs> Gentleman's upkeep. <laughs> it's okay. Got a lot of that going on this episode. It's a tough game. It's a tough game. Now, let's see what this does. Oh, no, that's fun. Okay. It's fun. That's what we're doing. We're yeah. having fun. It's about to, like steal your permanence or something. I got, I got Cedric Phillips to have fun playing Magic the Gathering. You gonna rare, were you right? going to cast bribery or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do I can't do super fun. <laughs> super fun. It's like Clonic Rift. Yeah. What are we doing? What's fun? Show us fun. I'm going to play Archaeo Mender, which is not, it's different from Archaeo Mancer. So Archaeo Mender enters the battlefield, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Burnished Heart. Now I can, off over here. I can use the mana to play Burnished Heart. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Good job by me. And you know what? That's it. When does the fun start? What's going? What was fun? You I'm played a burnished heart. That, all right. It hey, has. I'm, I mean, what could I do? With, what could I do with a bunch of mana? Don't let me yuck your yum. Yeah, I'm having. A, I'm just. I'm here to get islands, more islands, and then someone will kill me. I'm you're, glad you're enjoying yourself. Your commander has vigilance. Mm -hmm. Come oh. on. Okay. That's the second second miss stack okay. here from uh, Patrick. I will attack you for one. First getting frisky. Yeah. Yeah. Make it All yeah. right. That's it for Urza. That's it for me. Jim, Instead. do your worst. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. Monzi's gonna take this rock, and we're gonna we're gonna throw it, and we're gonna throw it at what's the sizing on the uh, the card you played last turn, Prof? Uh, the sizing on the card that I chose not to attack you with, as as the blue player starts doing blue nonsense. I'm did just we, getting. Did we have an arrangement that I, like I didn't. I don't know about an arrangement. I just seem to remember someone saying something along the lines of "Please, please, Professor, not me." No, Jim, that was not, that was. Oh, timeout. That was not a plea. That was a warning. Oh, that was a. If you attack me, oh, okay. your creature so will die. So maybe I might respond with a warning so if as anything, well, which is that maybe you don't want to poke the piranha at this point in the game. That warning was made in kind. All right, you know what? It was Do that. Hey, want. just so you know, hey. if you attack here, it's going to go down, and hey. you don't want that to happen. You want to poke the old bear with a stick? You go ahead and poke the old bear with a stick. Yeah. Anyway, uh, back to my prior question. Yeah. What's the sizing on your creature? It's a four four. That's a four four, and then the little old boosty there is a four four. Oh, no, this is who a, is a four four? Yeah, that's you mean a this? Three, three. The, the, uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, this, I'm sorry. Yeah, Nayeth is a three three. A three three. Okay, hey, Jim. <laughs> you want it? I'm gonna throw it at you. Sure. Yeah. What are you right. death <laughs> <shadow>? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's a little much. All right, the rocks gonna go flying, and uh, we're gonna take out the the legend that you played. Taking out my Nene. Yeah, mm -hmm. I am. So death touch, too too light for me, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I go up to uh, 28, I believe. I like Jim giving a little bit of that Long Island magic. It's like it's a warning. I was looking out for you. Yeah, that was that yeah. was that was a and that was an offer of friendship because oh. if you attack me, I would just die. All right. And if I got to defend myself, right. you know, just continue with your turn, sir. All right. So oh, you wouldn't want something bad to happen, right? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Let's draw. Fitted for some concrete shoes. <laughs> That's all. That's this how they is, do it in Long a Island. Cool little uh, thing. All right. So we're gonna play. Uh, Card that is banned in modern. Faithless looting. They nailed. Look at this on on their games. Where are we on that one, Prof? Huh? 
All right, looting time. Draw two, discard two. We got one, two. That's cool. Also. Another sticker card. Uh, <laughs> they make more of them. Another, another card you made I up. I made too many of those, I'll tell you that. I made a bunch. Uh, we'll discard a un, an, an Umbrella Rights and a Mountain. Oh. Mm. So now we're kind of doing the whole uh, flashbacky thing. We're going to play a Command Tower and get a rock. It's a never ending pile of rocks here. And prof, we really are, you know, I'm probably not coming back on the show. I, I wish but we I, did not have this but between I, but us. But I think it's, I mean, it's, it's actually the only legal choice I can choose. This so I'm going some... to play Eowyn. Fearless Knight. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, I am no man, but Eowyn enters the battlefield, exiles our creature and opponent controls with greater power. I believe the only choice I can possibly choose is the hamster. So, really? not a count against you. I, I, I want to play my card. It's not even a may. I just have to do it. Listen, it's not beef. It just is what it is. You know? It's just true. These things happen sometimes. It's boo. All right, so. A1 ZTB, some attacking to do. I'm sorry, uh, but Minx and Boo's got to go. I you have got to be kidding me. I'm, I mean, I'm not. I what else am I gonna attack? I mean, poor poor right. bats over yeah. here asking uh -huh. for people to attack him. <laughs> Which is a good way to not get attacked. Put put yeah. me out of my put me yeah. out. Yeah, uh, and then we got bonus charge. Gonna block and sack anyway. I do agree, but like in in my limited experience playing commander, the player in center position usually wins because they just don't do anything. Do a whole bunch of like, I'm gonna do a stuff over here. Oh, I won while we beat the crap at each other. So. But either way, uh, Boo's gotta go, or Minx has gotta go. So here comes Eowyn and uh, trained Goblin, not mine Goblin, over at your uh, your Minx can Boo. Hang on there, bud. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I pass priority. Okay. <laughs> I pass priority. I would like to activate Urza. <laughs> Draw. Draw three, make two power stones. Yeah. Pick up, pick your, pick your graveyard up, put it in hand. <laughs> Flashback circle of logic. I should just. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Leave me alone. How about that? I'm gonna discard a steel hell kite. Ooh. Power stone. Ooh. Cool card. Prof remains is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cedric. I'm about to cool. experience that moment a little longer. That was kind of fun, actually. I was looking for an answer. I couldn't find one. Sorry. All right, that's all right. Um, so I'm gonna put a die on this. I have three of these now. That'll make me less guilty when I do something that affects your board. All right, so one rock over onto Mons, one rock over onto Tago, and uh, right, that's it for me. I'm empty-handed, way to be. All right, on tap, during my upkeep, not gentleman's upkeep, actual upkeep, let's counter down here. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. Play an Evolving Wilds. Ooh. Power creep's coming for you. I know. Three mana, and I'll... Uh, Dragon's approach. <laughs> really? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so I'm up to three in the graveyard. Twenty-five. <laughs> All right. Thirty-one. Three mana. Play dragon's approach. Wow. Four of those. So the next one's gonna be sick. Okay. Twenty-two. So the next time you cast one of those, you can search library for a dragon, right. put it in play. Yes. Right. And I'm just gonna uh, save some time for everyone here and just wilds now. Wilding out. Wilding out. My turns are so fast. Yeah. It helps when you don't do that much, but you know. Or negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> Just take three. Three. Take three. Rock me. Take three. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? You can play it straight. Straight into the arrow this game. You're fine. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to untap, upkeep, and drawer. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's interesting. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spend three green and then one, two, three, four, five. It's time for uh, Azuri's Predation. For each creature your opponents control, create a 4-4 green Phyrexian beast creature token. Each of those tokens fights a different one of those creatures. What? Yeah, so uh, I get six 4-4 four, four <laughs> beasts, and each that? beast fights a different creature. This is on y'all. I mean, I'm not I'm not adding to this problem whatsoever. Hey, Johnny, do nothing over there. You got a response? <laughs> so this is just happening. I, I, my hand's terrible. Thank God I'm not up against a blue player with a bunch well, of untapped listen, mana. I try to remember back a few turns ago when you circular logic to the lightning bolt and to point yeah. that out that that was, you know, a thing that, that happened. That was great, but, Just, but you did not save Minsk and Boo this yeah. turn, so I feel less guilt. That's, I really had to do it. Jim was getting crazy here. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so, um, first turn. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sick. Somebody, right. so, uh, go ahead. You should go go ahead. That's the, good because I just want to kill the 4-4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. 
I'm gonna get my two islands and then you, you're good to resolve. All right, cool. So we're gonna go uh, beast token, beast token, beast token, beast token, beast token. This beast token fights that creature. That creature dies. This beast token fights that creature. So that time creature out. dies. Timing wise, how does this all no, this happen? Right. So is it each each one is an individual trigger for itself? For each creature your opponents control, create a four four green Phyrexian beast creature token. Each of those tokens fights a different one of those creatures. But that, that, does that all happen inside the resolution of a spell? Let's ask our judge. 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 So each of the fights happens at the same time. Players cannot cast spells or activate abilities. So the, the end result of all of this is going to be yeah. all the fights happen yeah. all at the same time. Yep. Okay. My mons is going to see three goblins die. Yeah. I'm going to get three mons triggers to deal one damage. Uh huh. And that's going to use last one information to remember the fact that it had death touch. Fight away. Right. Well, well I guess I'm, 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 I guess I guess actually I'm sorry. I I'm, I can respond by doing a rock. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So you're we're good. We're good. We're rock already. We're good. Oh, I'm, I'm leaving it. It's going to fall yeah. to the ground harmlessly. Okay. I'll take two. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> all right. So all the fights resolve. Yes. So, all right. you get six tokens, these all die. This one goes back. I have three Pashalik Bonds triggers that all are dealing one damage with Death Touch mm -hmm. and Lifelink. All right, so uh, three Goblin triggers, uh, and I'll deal one to each of three beasts, less on information, and then Death Touch will also kill them as well. And I'm left with two beasts. It's a fair exchange. Right, it's, it's all right, I just needed to, 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 to unclog some of the congestion that was happening on your board, and Cedric, it was not really against what you were doing. I hope no you problem. understand that. But all your things are dead now. Yeah. They are. Just to, you know, yeah. they are. Clarify. But one of the things can come back. Yeah. And the other one's suspended and unsuspending bit by bit as I pass to you. And so to be clear, yeah. uh, we're going to pass to me and I have five, nine, ten. Uh, I have 13 mana and seven cards in hand. It's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Have nice. fun. Okay. Pat, all your things are dead too. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Just, just. No, the for, boots live for, and for still have never boots. been worn. S suspend counter yeah, down nice. to one. Yeah, they are, they are nice boots. I'm gonna put these up on eBay. Never worn. Yep. Never worn. Not still, still got the original tags never and everything. Worn, yeah. Never gonna be worn. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's gonna put them on a dragon. Not right now, but. <laughs> the, oh, oh, yeah. That's a fun card. Okay. I'm gonna use two of these, which means I have one untapped and then a blue. I'm gonna play the Ever Flowing Well. Ever Flowing Well enters the battlefield, mill two cards, then draw two cards. Mill one, that's a Sky Diamond. Mill two, that's a Smuggler's Copter. Yours for free. I will draw two <laughs> cards. Okay, play my land for the turn. Can you, what else does that card do? Oh, Descend Eight, you familiar with Descend Eight? No. No, that's weird. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard, you transform the Ever Flowing Well. And then if I were to transform this, it would turn into the Myriad Pools, which taps for a blue. Whenever you cast a permanent spell using mana produced by the Myriad Pools, up to one other target permanent uh, you control becomes a copy of that spell until end of turn. It doesn't really do anything. It's mill two, draw two. Not bad for three mana, though. How many permanents are in your graveyard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, almost there. Close could, quarter. Could maybe make an eighth. We'll see what happens. Anywho, I am now going to tap four mana to play a filigree attendant. This is a four mana homunculus, star three flying, filigree attendant's power is equal to the number of artifacts you control. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a six, three, seven, three. That's pretty good. Okay. And next up, I will play a copy of, boom, Glint Raker. So this is a four mana, one three flying drake. It's plus X plus O, where X is the highest mana value among artifact you control, which it looks like it's filled your attendant. Uh, I have to actually tap this differently because I can't use the power stone, so. When Glent Raker deals combat damage to a player, you may reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put an artifact card revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Okay, that's enough stuff for me. Oh, is that enough? All right. That's not really That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot, that's a lot. Well, Oh, all right. Jim, it's your turn. I'm gonna go from my modest no cards in hand to one card in hand. That was a good oh. turn. <sighs> that was a good one. If there's one card that I would want to draw there, that was oh probably Oh my it. god, is it Muxus? Wheel of Fortune? I hope it was Wheel It's It is Muxus. Wheel of Fortune yeah. would be pretty fun too. Yeah, fun. So, so Jim right. owns how many commander decks in your personal collection? One. one. And the one. commander is? Muxus. And we said, don't please don't bring it because it's probably going to win like turn three. And this is actually my copy of Muxus too. We yeah. had to slide that one in there <laughs> too, which is sweet. 
And, uh, okay. Um, he's so happy. Hey, I'm making you I happy. I don't know how many goblins are Mr. Zach or even what goblins there are, but I guess we're trying to find out. Yeah. So, let's fans cast Muxus. Here we go. I enjoy my, my commander deck because Muxus just kind of gets things going to Pat's point. You play it, some things happen. Maybe you win, maybe you lose, you can, but. You can always play a second game. Yeah, we'll just go. You can just play a second game. Just do, do the stuff. We're gonna hard guess Muxus Goblin Grandee. Let's do it. He's the king. Six mana for a 4-4 Goblin. When he ETBs reveal top six cards, all goblins that cost five or less going to play for free, and every attack he gets bigger for all the goblins you control. All right. So, drum roll please, in post. Oh, we can post it. Eh, post, not post, whatever. And first up, Swamp. <laughs> not a mess. goblin. Whiff. Squee. Okay. Sick. Monster hit. Technically a goblin. Mountain. Settling in for the long game. Planes. Wow. wow. Mardutron. Temple of Silence. Wow. Plants. Tidy that right there. Really good. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. For the really king. Good. Let's uh, hear it for the king. Man, that best. turn just makes me squee. All right. The and best. then uh, we've got squee in play, which is very important. Um, that's where squee likes to be. Yeah, that's his, that's his home. And I guess we're going to equip the Basilisk Collar to the Muxus and kind of sadly pass the turn. All right. Untap. <laughs> Generous gift, off suspend, and I'm gonna target the Basilisk Caller. You got there. I tried to do it with the with the council's judgment a thousand turns ago, and then I got- And what in, happened? I got inside jobbed. <laughs> uh, you Oops. need a 3-3 three, three elephant. I got one, I got you one. You got a 3-3 three, three elephant. Bang. There you go. All right. Just as a crew, squee, muxus, and an elephant. So I got four copies of Dragon's Approach in the graveyard, so I'm drawing heavy here, okay? Not rolled up, but- no. Okay. Plan B. Spoiler alert. Oh, uh, I'll try to cast Aisha. No! Of sparks and smoke. Oh, there you we go. Oh, you can. I am going to uh, draw a card with Bonder's Enclave. Take one. Power. No, it's I gotta have a creature of power four. Oh, that card. I'm thinking of the one that like you pay for whatever. Sure. So that's a different card. Yeah. It's not the same card. I'll no, play, there's it's, more it's, than it's one card for magic. Yeah. There are, yeah. I'll play an exotic orchard. I'll just put this in the red white Very dual nice. land pile. Sorry. Oh, sorry, this is. This is, oh, okay, you, yeah. you can make white. Yeah, okay, great. I, I mean, I have one too, so like they see each other and sure. just do everything, so. Uh, I'll play a Soul Scar Mage, one, two prowess. If a sword you control would deal non-combat damage to a creature an opponent controls, put that many minus one, minus one counters on that creature instead. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. That's it? That's All it. my turns that are under one That was very, very. Uh, that was the most explosive turn I've had yeah. by far. He's extremely that was, That's it, that was mean. That was a good turn. I, Pat, you had a great turn. Thank you. It was a you, real, yeah. real solid stuff over there. Yeah. The the only, little shake. The only question I had is I was gonna try to tune up the band and get Cedric with the needle spires or do something else. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Easy there, pal. Easy. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do uh, two green, a red, and three. And we're gonna play a Ravager Worm. I like that card. Oh, you're not gonna like it in a minute. What is this thing? Well, I, when it enters the battlefield, first of all, it's got Riot, so it either enters the battlefield with my choice of a plus one, plus one counter, or I can give it haste. Okay. I, I think we're getting beefy here. I'm gonna give it the plus one, plus one counter. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, but then I get to do this cool thing. It's 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 a modal creature, which means I get to choose up to one. Ravager Worm fights target Muxus you don't control, or- I'm sorry, what was that? It's awfully specific. Yeah, Ravager that, Worm really fights weird. target Muxus you don't control, I don't... or- Destroy target land uh, that Jim Davis controls with an activated ability that isn't a mana ability. Well, that would make so, sense. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Pretty, yeah. Uh, oh. So we're going to choose the first one and fight target Muxus that I don't control. So, like this one? Yeah. Uh, Muxus, then? Why? You wanted to get it yourself? No, I don't want to reveal. I don't want to spoil the ending of this one. Well, okay. It's Lux fine. Lux it's Lux fine. Lux the Lux king Lux is dead. Long live the king. Lux and then, uh, Jim, I'm coming at you for eight with two wow. beasts. Wow. This is some ire. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. I Welcome mean, to Commander. Don't piss off the professor. Oh, okay. That's they a... made Squee an uncommon? Look how they massacred my boy. That's yeah, disrespect. I didn't, know that. I didn't know that. That's some disrespect. I did not know that. All right. That was like a money rare. Yeah, what happened? That's not cool. All right, Squee, do what you do best. We're going to block uh, one of your things or two of these. Ooh. So I uh, will trade with one. I'll take four. Cool. Go back over here. Oh, that's a nice clean, clear board you got there, Jim Davis. That's how I like to see it for you. Circle no back. board and no cards in hand. You've picked out the real threat in the game. I Well, <laughs> you're no longer the threat. I, Cedric. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Castillo. My engine's yeah. starting to rev a little I'm bit. Gonna read yeah, this you're revving. Quick. He's got 14 cards in hand. Yeah, it's such Jim's got I mean, no we cards should talk about an alliance. His his Mox has hit five lands and a one one, and he has no cards in hand. Oh. Now you know well, how it cool. feels to be the professor. Respect. Oh, that's cool. And <laughs> still, still, not even had to break out the you boots. Don't need them. I don't need them. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna untap. I guess you haven't untapped yet. No, I was thinking about what I wanted to do on the end step. Don't judge me. I feel your judgy tone. You could All have right. still been the upkeep. Unsuspend. Oh, no. There we go. I'll draw from a turn. I think it's time that we play a Cyber Drive Awakener. Oh yeah, that card. So this is a six mana four four flyer. Other artifact creatures you control flying. When Cyber Drive Awakener enters the battlefield until the turn, each non-creature artifact that you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness four four. Do 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 do. All right, that's an artifact. Those power stones are artifacts. These are artifacts. So now they're creatures now. They call them one shot Cedric. That's what they call me. That's what they call me. So, you're what again? Why me? Why are you asking me? I'm just first? asking questions. Yeah, but why are you asking me first? Are you about to take two players out? <laughs> Trying to see if I can kill you all. That'd be pretty wild. All right. So, I'm at 70. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 10 power creature. Make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, Where, where's where's your removal spell? This is quick. Patrick, Highest go! Value I'm, ta I'm tapped out, so and this one. I have no action, <laughs> and I still have not even got to put my boots on anything. That's true. He has not got to use his boots yet. Okay, so this is 22. All right. Okay, so I found you. All right, so now... I'm so glad that you found me. Let's see where these are going to go. No board, no hand. 5, 10, 15, no 20. Hopes. Okay, well... Nope! Five tokens. Right, so... So this would kill Jim. And then what are you at there, Resleevables partner? 25. 25. It's derived information. All righty. Uh, prof, you're dead. You're declaring attacks. I have two mana open and seven cards in hand. You have seven cards in your hand? Okay, five cards in okay. hand. Okay, I forgot you had cards <laughs> Six in cards hand. in Okay, well. I have six cards in hand. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. All right. I, I'm dead. Okay, I so that'll take care of the prof. Thanks. Just think about how enjoyable it will be to watch me whiff on Muxes again next turn. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of your guys' call. Which one of you would like to keep playing? I'll let you guys negotiate. Who do you think has got a better shot from here? How much mana do you have yeah, up many, after all this? Five. How many cards are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there like some busted dragon in your deck that would just kill him? I'm not sure, but it is possible I could backdoor with Aisha too. He's in this See, you, this guy in this. He, yeah, there's a few. Yeah. It's out, I don't know if that's- new to Commander. Do you, no. do you have any sweepers to break up what he's doing? Because I knew to Commander. My deck. <laughs> the best part um, is when they're negotiating to who's not gonna die. Instead of negotiating of who I should work with, they have to talk I'd about who gets to you. keep playing. I, I can't. No, it's you, you don't want to high roll for it. No, no. I, I think I think it's you. Okay, yeah, fine. I think that like fine. I'm gonna mux this again, hit one goblin. Okay, be, be even more sad. So this is coming down to a one v one match between yep. Cedric Basically. Phillips and Patrick Sullivan. Yep. All right. This is good. This is you, good you branding me? for the YouTube page. You killing me? So it's you. It's up to you guys to decide. Oh, we, oh, we decided. <laughs> you guys are. You guys <laughs> choose. Okay. Coming this, this way. This guy right here. Jim down. So I've got some triggers. Just one, actually. It's Glint Raker. And so when I hit someone with this thing, it deals combat damage to a player. You may reveal that many cards from the top of your library, so seven. Put an artifact card revealed this way in my hand. Mm, very Mux esque. <laughs> Island. Island. Three. Wow. Close. Island. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Let's see what I got here. I got a Mind Stone and a Wondrous Crucible. Mill two cards. A what stone? Uh, a Arch guy's dead. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice to kill first. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this Mind Stone, I guess. What are you, five? Yeah, okay. And then the rest of your, the rest of my graveyard, okay. So let's go ahead and put those there. This goes back on top of my deck. Play this Mind Stone. Tap this Mind Stone for mana. Play this Patchwork Automaton. Mm -hmm. Good thing, good thing. Thank you. Well, I wanted to keep, keep it tight. You see, I wanted to play that so that I could use my last two mana uh, to say go. Um, Patrick, use the boots accordingly. If you can kill him with those boots, that would be great. It'd be a hard one to pull off. What kind of card is Cyberdrive Awakener? What is that? Yeah, that, that card is cost eight. 
Like, why did the, the green card that has like a huge effect cost eight in green, 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 and this costs six in one blue? It's a little thing called power creep. Not just like. Well, I'm creeping in, I'm creeping in, I'm creeping. I'm feeling creeped on. I'll draw. Ooh, I don't like this start. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Arcane Signet, Trigger Prowess. Resolves. Nailed it. He, what, he's cooking. He's cooking. I, that said, nailed it. Yeah. Those are the, those are the boots on. Oh, the I, he took him out I'm of the going box. To, I'm, I'm going to have a response. Uh, I'm going to have a response. Now, the boots does what again? Non-basic land walk. That's it? So you're screwed. <laughs> okay. Boots is good. <laughs> Boot, no, no, I, no. Move to combat. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the boots out of the box for All right. Uh, before blocks. Sure. <laughs> Ghost quarter myself. Hold on. Okay, sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> Can I block? You tell me. It's right information. Okay. I'm gonna block with Master of Ethereum. I have a feeling it's large enough to handle things. All right. Um, so one prowess trigger so far. <laughs> Deal four to you oh. for your prowess. Okay, pro prowess trigger results. Prowess trigger results. I'm gonna take four. Four. I'm gonna go down to twenty-four. Okay, so how big is your master? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, eleven. All right, Aisha's dead. <laughs> okay, back in the command zone. All right, uh, I'm good on the Aisha trigger. Okay, nothing. Saving it for later. Let's see if this turn takes longer than any of my turns. <laughs> so there's a thing, there's a thing I like to do. Win. People who, no, no, I, I do enjoy doing that, but there's a thing I like to do when I play Magic Online, which is when I have my opponent dead, I just kind of sit here. <laughs> and I see who will succumb first. Will it be, will it be my opponent losing their mind and right-clicking concede? Or will it be me just waiting until they've had enough. Um, let me stop you right there. <laughs> this is the perfect person to do this to. I have three kids. There's no <laughs> way you can beat me at this game. It's impossible. You let me know when you're ready. <laughs> you attack with anything on the ground, I got my soul's card, Mage. Otherwise, you just let, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> okay. While I'm, while I'm working Patrick into submission here, Someone moved too fast with their ghost core. This uh, mm -hmm. ever flowing well will transform into the myriad pools. Hey, your boots are back online. I know. The boots are back. Those boots are made for walking. I'm in my mind palace right now, imagining what the game is going to look like when I untap. All right, so let's go ahead and get these permanents organized here. How, I th many, how many cards in your hand? Fair question. I don't know if I've drawn yet. Don't worry about it. I have, I've drawn, I have six. Okay, so we transformed our land. Have you played a land this turn? I have not yet. Okay. I have not yet. Can I count your deck? That would be a, <laughs> that would be advised against. I think. Can, I, you, can, I, can I count your deck? Sure. You think you're gonna beat me in this game? You're out of your mind. There you go. All right. Do you have delirium? I, <laughs> <laughs> I have an island, I have an artifact, I have a sorcery and a creature, so I do have Delirium. They're great. I also have Threshold as well. Got Mark Sleeved here. I did not pick the sleeves or sleeve the deck. Jim, how's that look to you? What do you think? That's a pretty- I uh, feel like I pulled that out. Pretty turned corner. All right, we'll check back on that in a little bit. I gotta cut my library. Okay. It's, it's gonna ten. mess this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a 10, 10. It's actually a five, five because of the master. Hey Jim, I got some uh, popper ducks upstairs. You want to get a game? <clears throat> All right, I <sighs> am going to cast. What's your devotion to blue? Ooh, good question. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Only five. Okay. I'm gonna play Welcome to the Fold. This is a sorcery. It says gain control of target creature if its toughness is two or less. If welcome to the fold's madness cost was paid, instead gain control of that creature if its toughness is X or less. So I'm gonna target Soul Scar Mage. So Storm Count's one? Storm Count is one now. Okay, sure, cool. It's gonna go over here. Uh, doesn't change devotion. Okay. Uh, next up, what's this do? Destroy target non-land permanent? Okay. Three, four, five, six, 
seven. I'm going to play... How much infect? Uh, no infect. Okay. No infect yet. I'm going to play Meteor Golem. And I'm going to use the Myriad Pools to do that. So whenever you cast a permanent spell using mana produced by the pools, up to one target permanent you control becomes a copy of that spell till end of turn. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to play Meteor Golem, and then this Energy Refractor is going to become a copy of Meteor Golem. I'm going to target your, I'm going to target your Arcane Signal. I'm going to leave you with the boots. Leave you with the boots. Okay. Resolves. Cool. And then just in case. So that actually puts me at Delirium. Okay, It's the cool. fourth card type. Cool. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm gonna draw a card with Mind Stone. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, I can attack with this one. I can't attack with that one. I'm going to attack you. Can't attack with this for, I'll let you count it. Um. Do you have effects before blocks? No effects before blocks. Any effects before first strike damage? No, first I'm good to put first strike damage on if you want. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. ready to go to regular damage. Yeah, me too. Good game, man. Good game. Good game. You'll never beat me at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>